but what we do, we reject, we reject what reality is. And then we will create this false reality. Hello, you know, and straight to the point here. Um, acceptance can be a powerful thing. I remember at the very beginning of my healing process, the very beginning, I ain't want to accept nothing is truthful about anything being wrong with me. I didn't think nothing was wrong with me. I thought I was normal. I thought I was my regular self. I thought that coming coming back from the military, that I was gonna be my be my regular self. And boy was I wrong. I was so wrong. Returning back to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my hometown. Uh, from overseas, it was a struck of reality for me. What what it gave me ultimately, it gave me a whole different dynamic about how life to to how life can just just change too quickly for you how life can just be forced upon you too quickly and it's just it, it is it is not that like okay life is happening life is forcing its 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 its, its will on you life has to happen life will will continue but what we find out we find out that as life is happening we are sometimes not willing to accept it is happening we are not willing to accept where we are in the place and in the moment as life is happening we don't like it And therefore, what, what we do, we reject, we reject what reality is. And then we will create this false reality and then try to put on this facade. We try to emulate what, what we feel is right for the situation. For the reality and for the moment but in fact it's just it's just totally not the truth and because we have no acceptance of the truth we fall further and further into this dark hole we spiral down and that's what happened to me and this I mean, and I, I know I'm maybe sound, making it really, really huge, like a real huge, real terrible thing, and it can, and it sounds like, boy, you're painting how to recover out of a dramatic event in your life. You know, what about day to day? Now, day to day too, we we sometimes. We'll show up in life. We'll show up in the day. We wake up, and we just go. We just go about our day, okay? We think that everything is going to be rosy. That just going to be feeling good. But then the minute that something bad happens, we're like, man, no, 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 no. That ain't supposed to happen. When instead, we should just 
have a quick little mindset shift you know just shift shift our mind and say you know what i accept this you know, i i i accept the the will that you know for for me personally i set the will of god okay <laughs> and even even if you don't look at it is that way like oh it's the will of god but you can even take a step further well i i accept the way things are supposed to happen in this day this this day i accept that like you know i'm here in this day and although that is not going as planned it's not going as i i wanted it to go it, it it's still supposed to happen as this way and so i'm just going to i'm just going to accept where it is right here right now and and just allow for the day to continue and as i move through the day i'm going to look for room for where maybe what i wanted to happen i can still insert some some of that what i wanted but that 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 very acceptance at the beginning right there though where something bad happens you, you know you had you had the whole day planned out but something bad happens and it interrupts your whole day screws you up you know for for me for so long that used to just take me out take my whole day out completely and it was just a constant pattern from from when when i first was really making my recovery and my and on my healing healing path from when i returned from the military when i was when i was battling against a, a lot of my uh, ment mental illness and and really trying to get myself emotionally right spiritually right and physically right because i was dealing with pain too boy 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 do we do with pain we yeah we deal with some pain <laughs> and what what do you do when pain come yeah you you got no choice but to surrender to pain right but people don't like that people don't like you know ha having to like just surrender right there in that moment it, what they were to do they're like man lord just take me home just just take just forget it just have the rest of the day i'm done but when in fact you don't have to wave your flag for, for you know for the whole day or even for your whole you don't even have to magnify it and make it so big that you feel like your entire life is just wrecked because of one particular moment in a particular part of the day you don't want that happening to you you don't want one moment where you can just say to yourself, listen, look, I accept what it is. It is what it is. I accept it. I'm going to move on from here. I acknowledge it. I accept it. And that's that's all acceptance is, is that, that, that you acknowledge it, that you acknowledge that it, that is that is actually happening, that it, that is a real thing, you know, and it's not necessarily that forgiveness most people think that like okay well do i have to forgive the situation right here in this moment is is that what it is do i have to do i have to do do, do i have to do something no you don't have to do anything just simply acknowledge it like hey it is what it is and then move move continue to move about your day because again you know it, it's just like the serenity prayer you know you you look you look for what what you can do with you know and you, you the rest of what you can't do leave it up to something bigger than you you know for me personally god and then you ask for wisdom and, and normally as you go about your day the wisdom will come the wisdom will come the wisdom the wisdom will always come we we want to change things Right then and there that's the, the tendency is to change things right then and there and that can be the most 
destructive thing you can do when you attempt to like change it right then and there. It 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 really is is really an emotional impulse. And yes, we we want to lessen the pain and we we want to make it feel better. But sometimes you got to sit back and ride that wave. Have you ever seen a surfer? I've never seen a surfer in person, you know, but I have seen it on TV. It looks fairly cool. Okay. Now, seeing seeing surfers, from what I know about surfing, is that, you know, everything's nice and calm when they first first get on the water with their surfboards, you know, and then they go out a little bit more further. You go out a little bit more further. And then as soon as a big wave comes, they, sim- they simply stand on their boards. They ain't, they ain't moving around or nothing like that. They simply stand there on them boards and they they they, they, they get they, they they just position themselves just right and they ride that wave. And this is what I'm challenging to to many of you, including myself, as a reminder to myself as well. So this, this is not for you, but a reminder to myself as well. Is that like when things get tough, when you when your day is getting tough, and when you feel like what you have already gotten through is is starting to show up again. Just simply acknowledge it. Simply acknowledge, like, hey, yeah, I see you. You know, it's all right. That, you know, you're supposed to show up there. You, you, you're supposed to show up in this day. This day was made for right here, right now. This moment was for right here, right now, and it's okay. But you know what? I'm not going to do nothing. I acknowledge it. I'm gonna move past it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it happen for just this moment. Feel a little bit of that pain, move past it, move forward. I'm gonna keep my balance. I'm not gonna fall over. Because it's like you, you can't knock me down. <laughs> you know, if it's bad news, bad news never never killed anybody. Hello? So you just keep your balance, keep keep on your square, and you ride that wave for just that moment. And just like like any good server, when that wave comes down, you see them cruising on on calm waters. You back on calm waters. You see what you can do. If it's something you can do after everything, every, after everything has calmed down after that moment, then you do it. But if it's nothing you can do, you say okay. You know, maybe today is not the day that I'm going to that is going to get done or that that like that I'm going to get some type of relief from it. And if that's the case, fine, so be it. Maybe maybe it'll show up later, you know, and then you just ask, well, well, give God, well, God, give me help or, you know, give me some give me some help, God. Give me some help. Give me some help. Send me the answers, you know, and even if you don't get the answers. You know, you just keep going. You keep moving forward. You stay balanced. You keep moving forward. You never stop moving forward because you, you know, because like once you build that endurance past past the moment and you see yourself getting further, further away from it. All you're doing is building, building, building that muscle. You're building those muscles to get you through it. And. You're going to be a lot more stronger for the next day, a lot more prepared for the next day, because, you, you know, maybe even next time you may recognize it and say, oh, OK, yeah, this is familiar. This is not so bad. Mm, it's not so bad. I was ready for that. Well, you know, this is all I got for you. This was a quickie for you. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the God pill and um, send you guys on your way and, and transform you. Uh, Marcus Harp. Many blessings, peace, and lots of love. Keep at it. We in this together.